it's election day here in Bramer County, even though many people t took the time to get their vote in early, whether it be at the Ma former Mauer Eye Center in Waverly or by mail, they got their voices heard. However, there are some who decided to venture out and cast their ballot in person traditionally. My first stop today here is at the Janesville Riviera Roos Community Center. I took talk to uh, the precinct chair and a voter. See what they have to say. What do you think about uh, the about the, all, all the election election season going uh, on? I think they're going to have an extremely good turnout. Mm -hmm. I think uh, people are realizing that it's their privilege to vote, and they need to get out and vote. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what do you what do you think about everything that's led up to to today? Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in how the how the uh, people that are running for office uh, run everybody else down. Mm -hmm. Why can't they just say what they're going to do, what they're going to do for the for the public? Uh, so how, how's the turnout been for the first couple of hours? Well, we, we had people waiting lined up outside the door. We had approximately 20 folks that were waiting to vote when we opened the doors at 7. Mm -hmm. And you're right at nine, uh, after these three vote behind you here, uh, there'll be 98 as of 9 o'clock. So, so uh, how, how, uh, what do you think about uh, what's been how, how things have been happening so far? Well, it, it's been higher than normal. I mean, the past elections that we've had, we're a little bit surprised because Janesville is going to be in the state volleyball tournament today. So mm -hmm. I know we had a lot of people that voted absentee in person just because of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Now, without telling me who you voted for, what what made or what helped you make your decision? Uh, I just look at everything and try to make a a decision off of what's going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And uh, uh, now, now, of course, uh, did, did did you decide to uh, uh, had, did okay. you did you think of uh, voting in, in advance because a lot because uh, a lot of people have done that so far this year. Uh, what what made you decide to do it do it on election day uh, rather than a, rather than early? I just feel that uh, with all the early voting and stuff, there's going to be a lot of issues uh, from both sides. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, what, are you, what are you expecting then to, uh, for, for the day? You know, we don't know because our, our turnout was so high for absentee in-person voting in Waverly that it's a little bit hard to predict, but the numbers are running ahead right now. So, uh, so what do you think about having uh, so many people vote absentee uh, uh, pr prior to today? Well, I think it just gives every American citizen the right to vote and whatever works for their, their schedule and however we can accommodate that. So. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's exciting to have so many Americans that care about the election. My second stop today was over the noon hour in Shell Rock here at the Boyd Building. Now, in, in Shell Rock, it, uh, being in Butler County, they had a few different races. Uh, first, in, uh, instead of being in the 1st Congressional District like Bramer County is, they are in the 4th Congressional District where they're picking a, a new congressman. And then, uh, whereas Bramer County is in House District 63 and Senate District 32, uh, Butler County or Butler County is picking uh, somebody. Uh, at least this part of, of Butler County is in House District 50, where they're they're choosing uh, choosing to see if Pat Grassley would still be their representative, who, who is the current uh, Speaker of the House, and they're also also have a uh, supervisor race that is contested as well as a uh, surprisingly contested auditor's race. Let's see what's, what one voter thinks as well as the precinct chair here. What do you, what do you think about the, uh, the, uh, uh, this election season uh, heading up to, to today? Um, I thought it was pretty wild. A lot, of, a lot of things happening. A lot of stuff on social media. Uh, I thought the uh, the debates were pretty funny. Uh, yeah, that's about it. The the, the 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 two they're talking about the two presidential mm -hmm. debates. As, mm -hmm. uh, to, to reflect then on the on the first one. I mean, I thought it was they were both being pretty immature. Uh, I don't know. I just I didn't think it was very professional of either of them. Mm -hmm. But 
here we are. You gotta pick between two of them. What do you think about the turnout so far uh, at, at, as of noon? Now? I think it's been very, very good. It's most I've seen ever in an election that I've ever worked. Mm -hmm. it, and then, uh, uh, so uh, now do, you, do you feel that maybe uh, uh, with with the uh, early voting that that has been encouraged over the over this month uh, may uh, may help may have helped out a little bit on. I'm this? not really sure. I really didn't know what to expect because we've had so many people already vote in this um, in this county. Mm -hmm. um, so I really didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a little surprised because I I'm just pretty excited about what's going on. Not saying who you had uh, voted for. Uh, what what uh, on on uh, up and down the ticket. What what had uh, helped you cr make your choices uh, of who you voted for today? Um. Just probably, I mean, the way I was raised, my morals and stuff, I've just always been definitely on one side of things and the other. And just the way that um, the other other party, their their followers have acted in a way, I guess. Mm -hmm. I just am definitely, I guess that kind of pursued mm -hmm. why I am so for one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what do you think about the... The excitement level, did you see like a line at 7 o'clock this morning? Oh yeah, we saw a line. It was very exciting. So yeah, it's nice to see people get out and get their vote counted. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, and of course uh, you get this so, so till 9 o'clock today. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what are your expectations for the rest of the day? Uh, steady. I think it's going to be steady. It'll probably hit a lot of people, especially after dinner, after work hours. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Polls are open until nine nine p.m. on Tuesday. Now, now uh, though there's probably hundreds, maybe even thousands more, who are going to be casting their votes today. And there's already more than eight thousand people who have placed their their ballots ahead of time over this last month. I'll be checking in with more people, especially across Waverly, later on today. From the Riviera Roost Community Center in Janesville, this is Eric Van Sickle reporting for Waverly Newspapers.